the DB11 in any of its structures is an auto anybody would need to be seen in. Traditionally proportioned yet totally present day, it advances Aston Martin without breaking too suddenly with its past. In making the drop-top volante adaptation, creators made a point not to mess excessively with the car's perfect outline. Notwithstanding a reasonable piece of reshaping of the back rump to oblige the instrument for the collapsing soft top, they've to a great extent succeeded. The volante keeps up the long, low, athletic position of the roadster, and, when raised, the eight-layer texture rooftop itself endures none of what one Aston architect calls the wet umbrella look. Obviously, you'd be insane not to bring down the best and appreciate the full volante encounter. Doing as such takes 14 seconds, and 16 seconds to raise it, and should be possible at speeds up to 31 miles per hour. It's in this express the DB11 most simply communicates its ethos as a fantastic tour for warm climate districts. While a significant number of the present automakers have confused the GT name as a type of in-your-face elite edition, Aston permits its DB11 to be a genuine GT auto in yet old convention, with a consistent ride an agreeable inside, and an easily vigorous however not merciless measure of energy. The last comes obligingness of a rendition of a twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8 sourced from Mercedes-AMG, here delivering 503 drive and 498 lbft of torque. We've gotten this far without saying the 600 HP, twin-turbo V12 that is such a central piece in top-level DB11 cars, and that is on account of the Volante Man.